for me pathology was my favorite subject in the second year and it is also my favorite subject among the whole subjects of the whole medical education hey guys hello and welcome to speedy medical i hope you are safe and fine in this time of pandemic in this video i'll discuss about how to study pathology in second year of med school and also how to retain more and more of the stuff in pathology so stay with me till the end of this video and i'll make studying pathology easy for you firstly let's look at the resources which i used for studying pathology and then we'll look at proper strategy to approach this subject the resources which i used for pathology were none other than pathoma and gollier and these books are so popular over the whole world that most of the students who are watching this video will be knowing this book directly or indirectly if i talk about pathoma this book is written in such a nice and concise manner that you can literally go through this book 3 to 4 times before the exams and even in my final year i used to study pathoma before anything and if i talk about golian the golian is like an encyclopedia of pathology you can literally find anything about pathology in this book and not only pathology this book has got concepts from biochemistry concepts from physiology even concepts from pharmacology in it so it becomes quite easier for you to relate various subjects with pathology like you can relate biochemistry with pathology you can relate physiology with pathology and this book is literally awesome so this makes these two books a deadly combo which can help you to tackle not only the second year but also the third and fourth year of your med school now let's talk about how to use these books and what is the right strategy that has to be followed see guys i will be just telling you the strategy that i followed throughout my med school and i assure you that this strategy will also be helpful for you so let's divide pathology into three parts that is hematology general pathology and systemic pathology generally what do students do is that they start from general pathology that is cell injury inflammation neoplasia and all other stuff but the thing is that general pathology will make this subject boring if you start from general pathology you will feel like boring and you will feel bored because it's not that interesting to read general pathology first so what did i do was that i started reading hematology first in hematology you have got rbc disorders you have got wbc disorders then you have platelet disorders and disorders of lymphoid tissue if so if you start reading pathology with hematology first then it would be quite exciting as well as it would be not that boring if you read general pathology first so i would recommend you to read hematology first like read all the anemias read all the wbc disorders like leukemias like acute leukemias chronic leukemias then read the platelet disorders there are various types of thrombocytopenias and all other stuff you will feel like literally it's interesting and it is applicable to your daily clinical classes and all other stuff okay uh, so first i'll recommend you to read hematology now you might be thinking where to read hematology from whether you should be studying it from pathoma or you should be studying it from gollier so i would recommend you that first you read them from pathoma then just go through gollier in the same topic and if you find out extra points which your med school expects from you then you note them and just annotate in your pathoma make primary make pathoma your primary book similarly do this stuff for wbc disorders and platelet disorders and eventually cover the whole hematology first then after you cover the hematology just come to the general pathology in the general pathology we have topics like cell injury inflammation neoplasias and immunity cell injury and inflammation are very easy and you just go through the pathoma for these subjects but neoplasia is quite tricky and i'll recommend you you to go through gollian first for reading neoplasia don't go through the pathoma first for reading neoplasia because it will leave you confused pathoma has got just a summary of neoplasia it's not that much explanatory for neoplasia alone it is just the sum summarized idea of all the neoplasia just go through the gollian first and then look for pathoma and then just look at pathoma for the summarized information but first do it from gollian 
finally we have got the systemic pathology guys systemic pathology is very very interesting and you will literally feel like a doctor when you are reading the systemic pathology in the systemic pathology we have got various topics various interesting topics like congestive heart failure like the valvular heart diseases like the rheumatic heart diseases jaundice copd inflammatory bowel disease meningitis and whole other stuff for systemic pathology just religiously follow pathoma there is no need to go to gallian for reading systemic pathology because systemic pathology is given in a detailed manner in the pathoma just go through pathoma and if you feel like you have read pathoma you know things from pathoma and you want to know extra things about the systemic pathology then only consult gallian but pathoma alone is also sufficient for systemic pathology so this is the whole idea about the strategy which has to be followed for pathology first study hematology when you cover hematology then come to general pathology read general pathology from pathoma except neoplasia read neoplasia from gallian when you have read neoplasia from gallian then consult pathoma for a summary of neoplasia for the points which you have to remember at any cost for systemic pathology pathoma is enough it's literally enough and if you learn pathoma by heart i'll assure you that you will not be missing any kind of clinical question and then after you read pathoma you can just consult gallian for any extra point so guys this is all about the stuff that i use for studying pathology and that i recommend you to study pathology i hope you like this video for more videos like this do subscribe to our youtube channel